You said yourself, these words came out of your mouth, these words came out of your mouth, that if you repent, you can still go through suffering. So what good is repenting if they're still going to suffer? What good is it? I'll 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 answer you. I'll answer you. You know what good is it? Because whether you're a Christian or not, you still got to do your homework. Whether you're a Christian or not, if you want to get in shape, it's still going to be effort for you to get in shape. But the difference is, is that the Christian has peace and meaning and purpose and they have hope at the end of the tunnel. But the person that does not have Jesus in their life, they're walking through the same suffering of life with no hope and they will find themselves in hell. God says all things work together for good for those who love him. Now you're trying to tell me, oh, I'll give it to you. You're trying to tell me that there's no benefit of doing good in life. So why don't you just do evil? Now you're not saying those words, but doing good means coming to Jesus because Jesus, when you come to Jesus, means you're humble. You realize I need help. Now what's the difference with someone who says I need help versus someone who doesn't need help? Well, someone who needs help gets healed eventually. Because if I'm sick and I say I need help, I go to a doctor. The other person that's sick and doesn't think they need a doctor, they keep spreading their disease and they find themselves more sick as the days go by. That's the difference between a Christian and a non-Christian.